up guys, the Camp Russia here. Welcome back to Factions Base Tour. Today we are on Factions Gold, my home server for the main show, looking at one of the coolest, most beautiful bases I've ever seen. I've ever seen on the Archon. This thing has so much detail. They have like a professional builder. This is Bad Rep. You guys know Bad Rep. They are uh, actually recently have become our ally, and we'll talk to them a little bit about that. And uh, in the main show, we'll be addressing that shortly. I know base tour is up at a random day. Usually it's up on Saturday uh, at 10 p.m. Eastern, but it's just uh, it's all mixed up right now with the holiday and me, me heading home from university back home. So I, I, was, uh, I missed Saturday, but I'm making sure to get this one up anyways, trying to get it once a week at least, and trying to get back on track for Saturdays for sure. But yeah, every episode I ask you to name the base. And last episode, Aurora left a comment. Name the base Hourglass because all of the sand and glass and when the sand falls, it means it is closer to them getting raided. Time is running out. Very cool name. While I'm touring this base, make sure to leave your name suggestions and you could be featured in the next episode. So this base starting off, I believe, yes, it's in the end. It's in the end. Um, I won't give chords right away. But I think it is in the corner. We'll see in a second. They have over 80 wrap walls. 80 wrap walls is how uh, around how many they have. Uh, I don't know if that's an exact. But these are the safest types of walls, obviously, is the wrap walls. Um, it's hardest to get rated. But these also take the most to gen. So it, it's a risk on their part. Now, they do have a corner. They have a corner. They've got a, a very OP corner which allows them to use more claims, uh, get more use out of their walls, and be very more protected. They've also got three sand walls, or maybe four? Three sand walls here at the end as a last minute precaution. And yeah, that is the outside defenses, the exterior defenses to this beautiful base. Now let's head inside. First of all, coming into the top-ish area of the base. It is a fairly large base for sure. This is their AFK room, it looks like. We head down this ladder, or we just drop right down. There's a little lobby box in there. I'm not too sure. I'm thinking spawners are potentially in there. Here, it looks like, is where they generate their potions. Yeah, poison po- Oh, they got poison potions. That's an OP play. Why don't we use poison? Oh my lord, dude. Poison is a vicious, vicious tactic. That's so OP. Splash potion of poison? I've never seen that, so that, that seems to be one of their strategies here. Uh, but this is where they, they create all their, their pots. They have a huge brewing machine, it looks like. I will quickly descend into this area here and see what's going on. So yes, this is the Iron Golems. They have seven IGs, so they that, that's why they're AFKing now uh, in this area. So they have the box strategy, I believe. Maybe not. It looks like, oh, you can go down even more down this ladder. And now we get to more spawners. And this is the huge part about their base, their cow spawner farm. They have so many cows, like it's over like 400 something cows. So I will get you that exact number in the calculations near the end of the episode. But they, and they got red and green for the holidays. It's a very holiday themed base. And just plenty of cows, they're always selling. And it looks good in here. You see Wyler, I think the owner of Bad Rep. Um, they've got chests kind of scattered around. It's a little messy in this area. You guys are going to see the interior design I'm talking about very shortly. The main event, I will say. And, yeah, they got individual chests. This is where, obviously, they pick up the steak and do their selling. And it's just really a, a cool process all around. So many cow spawners. They they focus on cow spawners compared to other spawners. Right now, I think they're shifting into different types of spawners soon. They do have other spawners, but they focus heavily on cow spawners, etc. So this room is very nice. It's got a, uh, you know, got the leaves, the green, uh, and a little bit of red as well. Again, representing the holiday. It's not done. This base is not done. I should reiterate. They are still working on it, but they allowed me to tour it early anyways. All right, let's head down to the main part of the base. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the main event, dude, the Winter Wonderland. This is at the bottom of their base. Now, oh my god, dude, oh my god. Not again, you could make more use of them this room. It could be more efficient, I guess, for storing items, spawners, etc. But holy crap, dude, look at this thing. It's insane. They've made like a mini little Christmas village within their own base dude they've taken all this time again they got a very very talented builder on their team he will be in the call here shortly 
They've got little homes, little houses. They got, you know, the Christmas tree there. Um, they do have storage though. Like they, they are storing stuff. They do make use of it. And just absolutely insane. They got their checklist here for what they're supposed to do. Ladders and uh, it looks like Repulsive's in here now storing stuff, etc. cetera. Uh, pots, uh, rate, like I think they each have like their own little different house or different area within this. They got the candy canes and just absolutely insane. This pirate ship here as well. Man, see, I should have made my... No, nah, th this pirate ship is nice. I was thinking towards how to Minecraft there because I have a pirate ship home on there. But just the detail within this thing is in, it, it's just insane it blows my freaking mind good on these guys now the roof itself look at the roof it's like ice spikes coming down like you know plenty of icicles and it's just such a good build it's a good build and they actually make use of the the build as well so very very cool they've got a pretty cool staircase as well i think i should show off briefly Heading up this way, uh, more uh, drop-off chests. Looks like they got a little bit of custom enchants in here. That's what I like to see. You know I like custom enchants. So again, making use of little corridors, etc. They've got a very random-like staircase here where you can get up to the top and uh, do your thing. You It forms into a ladder. But yeah, nothing. It's very random, which makes it, I think, fit into this build and fit in very, very well to this build. There is an AFK spot up here. Which means I assume there's some sort of spawners in this area that they may be AFKing. Or maybe it hits the spawners up top. Probably not. Either way, I'm not too sure. But just take a, a, a bird's eye look at this, guys. I, oh my god. The icicles are getting in my way. The amount of time he spent on this must have been insane. The trees, the snow, the ice, the, the stained glass, the wood. It's like such a good holiday feel. And again, they still keep in mind that factions aspect within this beautiful build. So that's that. Let's get some info on this beautiful, beautiful interior of this base. Let's uh, talk to a couple of these guys and just give them a big thanks for letting us tour this thing. We get to jump in a call with these legends here on Factions Gold on Bad Rep. Wow, the design, the intricacy, the details on this base is insane. We're going to call with Tish, Repulsive, and Weiler. How you guys doing today? Good. Good, 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 pretty good. good, good, pretty good, pretty good. Dude. That's what I like to hear, boys. Well, thanks for having me here. I know the base isn't completely done yet, but it's, uh, I mean, I think anyone looking at it would think it's basically done because, holy God, it's beautiful, dude. Uh, but thanks for having us. We're going to ask a couple questions today, and then you guys have a special performance for us at the end of this, uh, this uh, interview session here. So starting off, how long has this base been active? How long has it been alive? Well, since the uh, when the end got released, uh, we built a base. So. All right, so since the end got released, is that what's that? Three weeks then it's been around, I think. I think probably yeah. Okay, okay. So two and a half, three weeks. So it's a teenager base. It's been alive for a pretty good amount of time. You guys are already up to to 80-ish walls. They're all wrap walls, which makes it very safe, but probably uh, takes a little bit more time to gen for sure. But three weeks. All right. So this base looking good. It's looking pretty safe. Now, how much time? Including this portion uh, in here, uh, the beautiful room here, the, the Christmas holiday room. How much time in all did it take to create this base? Well, um, we've just, we're, we're, we're getting at the moment as well. <laughs> so we're not done completely. Not done yet, but up to this point, I should say. Mm. Work hours. Well, the walls wider and next it a lot of, I just did the interior. The walls probably took like a week so right, far because right. we don't really gen a lot we're still working on it but uh the inside was all done by tish tish did like took him probably like i don't know 12, 12, hours. 12 hours holy god man so the walls uh, the walls have taken a week plus the inside so undetermined really as it's not done yet but let's just say a heck of a lot of time and still going dude my freaking lord and that was my next question was who is who is in charge of this this holiday room, or I don't know what you call it. Who was in charge of this thing? Was it was you, TJ? Yeah. Oh man, dude. And you uh, and do you build like you build other places as well, right? Because you you are a very talented builder, obviously. Oh, thanks. But uh, yeah, I yeah, build for surface and stuff. All right, man, dude. Maybe we gotta hire this guy, ladies and gentlemen. Jeez, Louise, this guy can build. Um, but all right, all right. Now, 
You're on Factions Gold. This is the server. Oh, you got a Christmas tree here with the presents. That's hilarious. You're, we're on Factions Gold. Um, this is where the main show is done. And we have recently become allies. And, um, you know, we've had a skeptical relationship throughout. You know, you've raided us before. Raided, uh, I think, our nether base, if I recall correctly, last season. We've had our ups and downs, and now we are allies. Before you became our ally, who was who would you say was your main ally? Because it's been uh, it's just been a couple weeks, few weeks here. We've been allied, I think. Hey, our main allies was basically like aliens in Winnie Hut, but they kind of quit. So, uh, and we don't really talk to them as much anymore. So, so okay, so uh, aliens and Winnie Hut Junior were your old ones, and uh, kind of right now, especially aliens is one of our main main enemies. So you know you came to the right side, and why did you choose us over them? Well, you guys are good at raiding, and you're you're active. Thanks. It's always fun. To, Thanks, uh, dude. Yeah, no, I know I'm a great cannoner. I uh, I'm glad you joined on. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but the faction as a whole, yeah, we're we're glad to be allied with you for sure. Now, all right, all right, sweet. Let's uh, let's move on. So you have a uh, a special note block so note block song to play for us. A little performance. You want to take us in there now? Take us. Yeah, in it's so messy, but. Just, uh, All right, yeah. dude. This is the coolest thing ever, man. You guys gotta see this. This is so epic. All right, I'm coming in, dude. I'm coming in. Let's see this, dude. Let's I see. Have to break the walls, well. All right, your secret little, uh, your little department here. It's made out of dirt, dude. This is the hidden room, the special room. All right, let me make sure my sounds are up. Yeah, they're up. They're up. All right, all right. So this is what? Maybe a little bit laggy because of the amount of players, but. Okay. What is this? What is this? What are you about to do? Well, Star Wars got released, like yesterday i think yeah so we put up a star wars song <laughs> so they made the star wars song in minecraft all right let's hear it let's hear it i'll be quiet for it It's so good. It was a little, it's a little choppy, but that's just due uh, to the amount of players on the server right now. But still, man, that is so good. And how long did this little contraption take you? That oh, Star Wars. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so I, I'm I'm fan I'm fanboying a little bit to this. How long did this take you, Teach? Like an half hour or something. Half hour. So holy God, the musical genius here. Well. Either way, guys, thank you for letting me tour your base today. Thanks for letting me answer the questions. I'm excited to see what this base looks like when it's fully complete. That's going to be very exciting. Um, yeah, with that in mind, Repulsive, Wilder, Tish, I'll talk to you soon. Probably very soon as we're allies on the main show. Thanks for playing on the Archon, guys. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, the calculations are in. And I'm very excited to tell you this. Very excited to tour this base. Absolutely insane. So unique to what we usually see. It was awesome. But here we go. Based on seven iron golem spawners, 13 creepers, 480 cow spawners, five dozen of prop four, three stacks of god apples, 14 bedrock, and 75 million worth of miscellaneous items. The total value for the bad rep base here on Factions Gold of pvp.thearchon.net is 111,052,500 Woo! Congratulations to you bad rep and I know this isn't huge. It's not little either. It's not like a, a poor base. It's just not one of the richest we've seen. Uh, one, their base is not done yet. And two, it seems like they are largely focused on design as well. And uh, they've been spending lots of money on the materials, etc. But uh, yeah, they're still improving. They're still gearing up, getting better and better. They're starting to invest in more spawners, etc. Very cool base. Thank you to these people for letting me tour their base. And remember to leave a comment down below if you want to apply for next base tour episode. Uh, what what uh, server you are here on the Archon. What faction's color. And then also make sure to leave a comment. What would you name this base? Thank you all for being here. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed, touch that like button. Join the rushers by subscribing. Have yourselves a beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.